Hi everybody, this is Anne Emery with Excel for Evaluation. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you a putting it all together strategy, adding ID numbers to open-ended survey responses, and then pasting everything together into Word. So we're going to create an appendix like the one shown on the right, where each person's actual survey response is shown, as well as their ID number in parentheses. This is something I include in most research and evaluation reports. It's nice to have the full list of responses in the end, in case the reader wants to read through them uh, verbatim for themselves. And it's also nice to have the ID number accompanying the response, in case somebody wants to cross-check and see, for example, what person 101 said in one section of the survey and what person 101 said in another part of the survey. So it's just a lot easier for your reader to uh, come to their own conclusions and come up with some themes. Here's what the data set looks like. It's a pretty typical survey data setup. We've got ID numbers, the roles of the people, some other demographic questions here, and their open-ended survey responses. And here's what we want to create. We want to say uh, the actual survey response as well as their ID number right here in parentheses. So here's what a lot of people do. They will just start typing in by hand, and then they'll add the ID number. Uh, that's very, very time consuming, obviously. Um, it's okay if you have maybe five or 10 people in your data set, but if you have 500 like this data set, uh, that wouldn't make any sense at all. So here's another thing I see people do. They just copy the data into a new cell and they add the ID number here. Again, very, very, very time consuming. So the much easier strategy is to use the AND symbol, the ampersand. I'm gonna show you what it looks like very, very quickly, but I have an entire video just on this tip alone. So just check that out if you'd like to see it a little bit more slowly. We'll do equals, select the first cell, AND, and then select the second cell. This is exactly what we want here, uh, but it's a little smushy, so I'm going to add a few more things to the formula. Oops. Perfect. Okay, that's all we need. So just look for this little square right here and double click it and it fills in all the way down. So now we need to paste it into Word. I'll show you some tips for doing that pretty painlessly. So just select all of your data and hit Control C to copy. Now if you just do Control V and do a normal paste, it looks okay, but it's actually pasted in as a table. You can tell it's a table because you can see that little plus sign when you bring the mouse over it. And tables get messed up because you can stretch them out funny by accident or you can kind of smush them in this way by accident. So we just want to paste in the regular text but not within a table. So what we're going to do is go up to the paste icon right here, the little clipboard, and we're going to go to paste special. This is definitely an area of Excel you want to explore a lot more to see what's possible with Paste Special. It's a great feature. Click on Unformatted Text. So that's going to take all of those numbers and letters from Excel, but just put in the numbers and letters themselves. It's um, going to strip away the table format or the cell format that comes with Excel. So click on OK. And now we've got the text again. And let's just add some bullet points because in a real survey you'd have uh, responses that are probably pretty long and take up several lines, so you'd want to be able to see the different answers a little bit more clearly here. There you go. That's everything all together. Just takes a minute or two to do. There's nothing by hand, and it's pretty much error-free because there's no chance of you making a typo in this process. Thank you so much, and again, if you'd like to learn more or see that formula with the and sign uh, a little bit slower, you can check out my blog at emeryevaluation.com. Thank you.